Hidden one with another one. Let's go. What's going on today, YouTube? I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wavy day today. And today I have the most cancerous setup of all time. The Akimbo Double Barrel Shotties. Man, this is the most toxic, and I mean toxic, setup you can run <laughs> in Call of Duty Vanguard. Oh my goodness. And in this setup, I'm using the two perks that were introduced, Serpentine and Intuition, along with the Combat Shield, because I'm feeling like a complete and utter scumbag in these Call of Duty Vanguard lobbies. And I'm rocking the new Incendiary Grenade, and of course the Stem Shot, but man, I finally unlocked the Double Barrels after running shipments 24-7, and oh my goodness, look at that. This shotgun is so OP, the range is just insane like do the developers really play test these games because this shotgun is absolutely going to ruin vanguard i don't understand how something like this gets put in the game but i'm gonna use it and i'm gonna abuse it it almost brings me back to the modern warfare two days when the akimbo model 1877s before they patched it man the Ugh, this this shotgun is just so cheese. This is like the most cheesy shotgun I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. It, it may be it may be more broken than the 725 in Modern Warfare 2019. I want to say this shotgun, as it stands in Vanguard right now, at this moment, it may be golden straight up. <laughs> and, and I am not kidding when I say this guys this akimbo double barrel shotgun should not be in this game and I am so surprised more people are not running this shotgun in regular lobbies you know you mostly see people bring out the shotties on das hoss or shipment and whatnot but man like I was having so much fun when I unlocked this shotgun and just running around with the dual wheel just murking people like look at this it should not be in the game. Watch this, y'all. That is absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> the range on this shotgun. I love it. I'm going to keep abusing the cheese that these developers keep putting in. And I honestly won't be surprised if this shotgun gets a nerf. Like, they already nerfed the, shot, the combat shotty. Like, it's only a matter of time before they nerf this shotgun into the ground. But as it stands right now, it is so overpowered. It's... A lot more broken than the combat shotgun I have to say it is amazing and y'all need to try this gun out um, I mentioned earlier I was using intuition uh, now that perk is actually really good so it'll basically give you like a little pulse on your screen and as long as you're paying attention to that visual cue you'll see which direction the enemies are and it has helped me out so many times just and not even using the shotty, just using any other gun in general. It's actually a very strong perk. And I'm pairing it with Serpentine, which is supposed to reduce damage when I'm being shot at while sprinting. And that works out pretty well with this shotgun because you, you move like the flash with this shotgun. It, like the, the attachments you can put on this shotgun, it makes your movement speed so much faster. And if you pair that with maybe the lightweight perk, it would make this setup even more of a problem because... Your sprint to fire time is just insanely fast with this combination. So if you're running Serpentine, you're going to be taking less damage while sprinting at the enemy. And then, you know, just boom, they're dead <laughs> like that. But y'all should definitely try out this setup. Um, get y'all toxic on, you know, the developers put this in the game. So why not? Why not abuse it? You know, playing Vanguard as it is, is just not very fun. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give this game a 1. It is that bad. And the only reason I'm giving it a 1 is because of this double barrel cheese. <laughs> this game would be a straight up 0 if this double barrel shotty wasn't in the game. Like, I am trying to find a way to make this game enjoyable. And this is how I enjoy it. Just absolutely finding the most toxic setups and running around like a madman getting kills 
as you can see these guys were camping so bad in this cave like i kid you not they literally all started camping in this cave because i was destroying them with this shoddy <laughs> I absolutely was loving this gameplay. Um, it got kind of campy towards the end again. They were just all up in that cave. They brought out their camping tents. They were making s'mores, but I wasn't giving up. I was on a mission to ruin their day with this double barrel. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should definitely try out this double barrel setup. It is absolutely going to be ruining Vanguard within the next couple weeks i am predicting it everybody's gonna start using this shoddy outside of shipment and das house and it's gonna ruin the game it's gonna be just like the 725 for modern warfare held the double barrel in cold war it never got nerfed i still never unlocked the double barrel in cold war and i wish i would have but i got it in this game so i'm gonna use it y'all might be seeing a lot of double barrel shoddy gameplay coming in the near future and here I am trying to clear this cave again. But as you can see there, at this point in the game, I had got my dogs. And they were just deciding, you know what, we just going to hide in this cave. And I got to say, that incendiary grenade is actually kind of stupid too. It is so dumb for that incendiary. Like, oh man, the incendiary grenade, if you guys, let me, let me just roll a clip. Now, look at this and tell me, does this look balanced does this look balanced at all guys it is literally hell on earth on shipment because everybody's spamming incendiary grenades if you join a game on shipment this is what you're going to see and that is just ridiculous to me but hey it's good fun I, i'm look there's an incendiary grenade right there that someone just threw it's it's op <laughs> uh, but now it's it's not that bad in bigger maps like this it is definitely broken on the smaller maps and it just it, it, it's not play tested it's, it's just something that these developers lack i guess but uh, if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed me just absolutely melting people with this double barrel on numa numa here in vanguard a like on the video would be greatly appreciated and also don't forget to subscribe everybody subscribe and turn on that notification bell so y'all can get notified when i drop and if you would like to follow me on twitter the link will be in the description below thank you guys for tuning in if you stayed with the video this long and i'll see y'all in the next one as always keep it wavy hit it one ah